We're back with Deepak Chopra, and he's revealing his super plan for a super brain. You talk a lot about diet. We know it's important. But give me the scientist's perspective of how critical it is to building the super brain to beating back things like Alzheimer's. Well, just like everything in your body, your brain, need, brain needs nourishment. And so we can talk about a few things that actually are very specific to your brain. Let's do that. We're going to talk about three specific super brain boosting foods. Again, these are all things where there's a lot of science behind them, but Deepak brings a different level of depth to the discussion. So if you can, start off with the number one item that we have put on our list, which is wheat germ. Why is this so important and how does it work? Well, wheat germ reduces something called homocysteine. Mm -hmm. It's an amino acid which goes up when there's inflammation in the body. People with coronary artery disease yeah. who are prone to strokes, dementia, Alzheimer's, they have high levels of homocysteine. <laughs> You take a little bit of this wheat germ, put it with the yogurt or cereal or whatever, mm -hmm. and it reduces homocysteine levels. All right, the second item on our list are black currants. Uh, black currants work for a lot of reasons. They, they have these incredibly powerful antioxidants. Please describe them to everybody. Well, black currants, they actually nourish the hippocampus where memories are ushered in to other parts of the brain. Like an usher takes you around and in in, shows you your seat. The hippocampus ushers memory into different parts of the brain where they're recorded. So black currants actually nourish that part of the, the brain, the hippocampus. And again, black currants, when they're dried, are like raisins. You know, they, they, they taste in a very similar fashion. You can use them in lots of cooking. You can also buy them frozen. And they come jam. in jams, which is a very popular way of getting them into your diet. Again, simple stuff, but we're talking about automating this, so you've got to find this in one of these three forms. And the third item, the third superfood to boost our brain, is acorn squash. Now, why is that? Well, you've heard of folic acid. You know, folic acid increases the transmission of information through nerve cells, and it also boosts memory, and it's very high in this food. Well, Deepak saved the best for last. He recommends two powerful super brain boosting herbs. Uh, please walk me through them and describe how they work. Amalaki. It's uh, also called gooseberry, Indian gooseberry. It grows in tropical countries uh, in the Himalayas in India. It's available in all health food stores. And it's a very interesting herb or fruit because it has all the six tastes, sweet, sour, salt, bitter, pungent, and astringent. Very high in antioxidants. It nourishes and protects DNA, but it's also used as a detoxic uh, purifier, detoxifies your body, it improves digestion. It actually gives people regularity as well, and it improves memories. You can take a juice as a little shot, okay. or you can take a, ta a tablespoon on anything gonna, like crackers. I'm going to start getting this. I I'm like gonna this. I'm going to send you some, too. Oh, my goodness. His yes. own personal stash? Yes. Do you put, do you put alcohol <laughs> in it? <laughs> no. I don't. Think. Lose the bad Some people have been using it with vodka, but I won't recommend <laughs> it. All right. And the second item is sage. Why sage? Why is it so critical? I know you well, remember the word sage. Yeah? Sages use this for higher consciousness. And actually, <laughs> you know, when you think of a sage meditating up somewhere in the mountains where there's less oxygen, this actually has been shown to direct oxygen to your cerebral cortex. You can use about 30 drops and in water per day, uh, or you can sprinkle it over soup, for example, or any other drink. You know, I actually don't mind this either. I mean, yeah. you know, oftentimes I taste these things, and I'm, you know, I'm usually pretty expressive in my disdain for bad-tasting food. This is pretty refreshing. I like this. Although that Amalaki is to die for. I'll, I'll take your Amalaki gift. Yeah, I'm going to send it to you. All right. But he back said one more gift for all of us. Up next, he's going to reveal his number one secret to keeping your brain young. And guess what? It takes less than five minutes. Stay with us. With Deepak Chopra, and his number one secret to keeping your brain young is meditation. Now, we know meditation can relax you, you know, beats down the stress, but why is it so powerful in keeping our brain young? Well, there are many studies that show that if you meditate regularly, you can be up to 10 to 15 years younger than your peers who don't meditate. So we're going to do this together. Everyone at home, please sit down for just three minutes. In the audience, please stay with us on this. Take us through it. What's the first step? The first step is sit up straight, close your eyes, and become aware of your breath with your eyes closed. The second step is visualize the age you want to be. We call that the biostat. So if you want to be 39, which I know you want to be, Dr. Oz, <laughs> then that's your biostat. So what exactly is a biostat? 
Think of a thermostat which self-regulates the temperature in the room. So a biostat is a mental set point for your biological age. So it's how old you want your body to be. Exactly. How old you want it to be in your mind. So it will regulate the biology around that figure. And then step three is repeat the biostat mantra. And this is how you do it. You say, every day in every way. Every day in every way. I'm increasing my physical and mental capacity. I'm increasing my physical and mental capacity. My biostat is, and that should be your 39 for you. So my everyone biostat says their own is, age. Biostat is 39. Okay. And then the third step is I look and feel a healthy 39 in this case. I look and feel a healthy 39. Okay. Remember those three steps and repeat them mentally five times a day, and then you're all set. That powerful tool you could use to beat back memory loss, maybe prevent Alzheimer's? Yes, and as you grow, then you'll have the wisdom of experience, but the biology of youth. I love that. Well, Toya, what age did you want to be? I'll say 18. Why 18? Because at that time, I was able to do anything that I wanted to do. You're not worried about hormones? No, no. Just worried about partying and having fun. All right, Bethann, <laughs> what age did you pick? Uh, 25. Because I was pretty much living it, living the life, you know, didn't have a care in the world. Well, I like the fact that the way we think about our age can influence our body's behavior. If everything starts with a thought, to think is to practice brain chemistry. Deepak Chopra, thank you very much. Thank you. Be right back, everybody.